she always, uh, in that sense, wanted uh, you see, to be an actress and therefore felt somehow unfulfilled. Uh, the more success there, there was, the more unfulfilled she was, so that she wanted to make the break. The actual idea of coming to the actor's studio, I think, came from Mr. Kazan, who had met her here with Arthur Miller at that time. This was before uh, they were married, before the marriage to Arthur Miller, and who suggested that she should come uh, to New York. This was about, I think, in 54 or 55, uh, thereabouts. And uh, so it was then, actually, that I first met her at a session. She was one of the two or three most sensitive and most talented people that I've seen in my life. One of the others is Marlon Brando, for instance. Uh, and to me, she had uh, the same kind of sensitivity. In the actor's studio, she did a, s a scene from uh, Eugene O'Neill, uh, Anna Christie. And it was wonderful. The luminous quality that she had on the screen was oddly enough not reduced, but some strange way uh, enlarged in life. Usually it's the other way around. She wanted to do other kind of uh, roles. And the idea of doing uh, Grushenka in, in Dostoevsky uh, novel uh, was not the kind of idiotic uh, idea that uh, some people interpreted it to be. But she was beginning to think more, not so much of movies in that sense, not cutting out movies, but she was beginning to think of acting as a stage medium, hoping actually to be able to accomplish it. And then what would have happened with the movie things, I don't know.